Hello there and assalamu alaikum. Today's video is a really interesting one. It's interesting because we'll be learning how to hide a file, view the hidden file and then unhide the file. And we'll do all of this without the help of any external application. So let's get started. Let me also tell you that this is applicable to only MacBooks and not PCs since PCs have a different way of hiding and unhiding files. So to demonstrate this, let me create a new file by the name of uh, demo hidden. To create a new folder on a MacBook, you need to right click anywhere inside the folder under which you want to create the folder and click on new folder option and you will find your folder created. To rename it, just click on the folder once and the name will be highlighted, which means now you can give any name to the folder. So I'll name it demo hidden. And I'll create this file under documents folder. Let me also add a word doc inside this folder to hide this as well. So in case you want to hide sensitive documents or passwords or images, you can always create a folder and fill it with all your sensitive documents. The next step is to activate the spotlight search. So to do that, press command and space bar and you'll find the spotlight search bar sitting on your screen. So type in terminal in the search bar and you shall find a pop up menu, which looks much like the command terminal on a PC. So here you need to type in ch flags and then a space and then hidden and then give another space. So it's ch flags hidden and there is a space after both the words. And then uh, what you need to do is drag the folder you want to hide to this terminal window. So what's happening here is the moment you drag the folder to this terminal, it copies the location of the folder that you wish to hide. So now all you need to do is press enter and you'll find your folder vanishing instantly. Actually, the folder is still there. It's just hidden. So the finder won't show it by default. Now, what good is the hiding option when you can't view your hidden files? So to do that, you need to have the finder option maximized. It is imperative for you to maximize it else you won't be able to view the menu. So click on the green button to maximize it. When it's maximized, hover your cursor to the top of the screen to reveal the different options. What we need to do is we need to go to the go menu and under that, the go to folder, when you click on it, a small pop up bar will appear. Now here you need to type in the path of your folder. So let's just type that in. Let me also remind you here that the tilde key that you see here before documents, it stands for the user folder. So I need to update the location as tilde, then front slash, then documents which resides under my user account and uh, I had saved demo hidden under documents. So I'll type demo hidden and the moment I hit enter, you'll find yourself inside the hidden folder. If you remember, we had stored this text document inside the demo hidden folder. The moment you go back a step using the arrow key on top, you'll find your folder has vanished again. There's another way to view your hidden file. While the finder doesn't offer a graphical option to let you find those hidden files and folders, this option number two does. To view the hidden files and folders, you need to ensure to be in the folder under which you have hidden your files. So if I've hidden my file under documents, I need to have the documents folder up on the screen. If I have the desktop folder or any other folder for that matter, uh, up on the screen and then try this option, it won't work. So all you need to do is press command, shift and period or the full stop key. So it is command, shift and period. 
and you'll find your folder grayed out but it's clickable so you can always click open it and uh, I think this is relatively an easier and faster option as well alright so now we know how to hide a file and uh, how to view a hidden file as well in fact we know two ways to view the hidden file so let's move to the last thing for today and that's how to unhide the file so to do that follow the procedure we followed earlier to hide the folder so press command and space bar to reveal the spotlight search and then type in terminal and once your terminal window is up you need to instead of typing ch flags hidden which you did earlier this time type ch flags no hidden so it's going to be two words ch flags and then a space and no hidden it's it's not two words it's one word no hidden and then another space and then insert the location so remember the location starts with the tilde key which signifies the user so I'm going to type the tilde and then front slash then documents and my hidden folder is under documents so I'm going to give another front slash after documents and then I'm going to type my hidden file which is demo hidden because that's my location and the moment I hit enter you'll find your file revealing itself inside the documents folder so remember when you hide a file it's really important to know the location where you're hiding it otherwise it's going to be a difficult task locating it all right so that's all i have for you today if you've enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel until we meet again see you and thank you